Welcome back. Since we're learning about classifiers and we've previously learned how we can use filters, then we can actually use an interesting uh, 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 class in Weka, which is filtered classifiers. A, fil a filtered classifier basically is a meta class where we can specify a, fil a filter and classifier and the pre-processing of the data uh, can be done on the fly and then the data after that will be passed to the classifier. I know there are so many things to learn, but we learn them we learn them one by one. So if we go to the uh, the documentation and we go to um, package weka.classifiers.meta, then we can find a class called so weka.classifiers.meta and class called filtered classifier. Click on there. What this class is about is um, it's a class for running an arbitrary classifier on data that has been passed through an arbitrary filter. So we can choose any classifier and we can choose any filter and what it does it automatically passes the data through the filter and then to the classifier to be built. There are several options and there are very useful methods that you can read about. Let's just try to create a simple class and uh, 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 let me show you how it's actually done from the Java source code. So let's go back to our code. See, we've learned here how to build a classifier. We've learned how to uh, use filtering here or here. But the good thing about this meta classifier that we're going to use at the moment, uh, that we're going to use now, is that it will do the filtering automatically. So let's go to it'll do it on the fly or automatically. New class. And maybe we can say classifier with filter something like that create it and then because I've actually prepared the code so let me copy and paste the code the usual way the Weka, Weka API package and then we import the required classes notice now we have weka.filters.unsupervised.attribute.remove we need that for the filter we need that for the classifier for the base classifier and that's our meta classifier, the filtered classifier. So basically we build an object of that and then we pass it a base classifier and a filter and we ask it to do the filtering or the pre-processing on the fly. So the usual way we load our data set. Remember always to set the class index. Uh, I'm using the IRS data set here and I'm telling it the last column or the last attribute is the class. Always when you build a classifier, always remember to do this. And then we create the base classifier, the J48 decision tree. And then we create the filter, the remove filter. We set the options, uh, as we learned before, to remove the first um, um, attribute. And then set the options. And then we can create an object of type filtered classifier. Remember, we need to pass it two things now. We need to pass it the filter and the base classifier so two things the filter and the base classifier and then we just build classifier and that will automatically apply the filter and then pass the resulting data to the classifier and build the classifier and then um, uh, I'm, I'm just here printing out the tree we don't need that the tree graph so we can just save and execute and that will be done um, automatically. Uh, notice now in the filtering, if you remember attribute filter, we had to uh, set the input format and then we had to actually apply the filter, use the filter, right? Whereas here, this is all done uh, automatically for us. So just another way of using it. I keep using maybe J40 add and remove. Remember that we can use any classifier and any filter as long as it can be applied to that data. So class for running an arbitrary classifier. Arbitrary means any classifier that has been passed on data that has been passed. So the data has been passed through an arbitrary filter, which means any filter. That's how we can use it. It's quite nice and easy to use. Remember, uh, the class is in weka.classifiers.meta. And in fact, you can find here, as you can see, a long list of classifiers, the other boost classifier, bagging, uh, dagging um, and things like that. I'll be showing you maybe stacking or bagging. These are called uh, ensemble algorithms. I'll show you maybe how to use them in one of the future videos.
thank you very much and i'll see you in my next video